confused about how to make the Excel graphs and put all your data together. So I just wanted to show a quick tutorial on how to do this and get your graphs all made up. So here I just opened up um, one of the bits of data that I had. So this one happens to be Control 1A. You probably have everything saved all in one, or uh, sorry, all in multiple um, sheets. It doesn't matter really if it's a CSV file or if it's an Excel, XLS. Even if it is a CSV file, you can still open that with Excel, not a problem. So all your data should look like this. You got a time column, you got a transmittance column, you've got an absorbance column. Uh, we don't really care about the transmittance. We're going with absorbance. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that whole column. And this one, um, that's not all that helpful, just labeling, labeling it absorbance. Um, remember we said in class, this is what it's going to be called on the graph. Um, so I don't really know what this means because this is not my data. So I'm just going to call it control 1A. If I could spell it, would be good. Control 1A. And now I want to get some more data in there. Uh, so I will just go back to where I have the data saved. And I'm just going to open up one of the other ones that has to be done. So I'm just going to open up control B. So you can see I've got the two substrate one B's and then two A and two B. And so I've got my six for this group. Open up control one B and it looks exactly the same. This time the time is automatically there. I don't really care. Uh, I don't need that. I'm just going to take the absorbance column and command C to copy it and oops, go back to my other graph and I'm going to paste it. And I'm just going to retitle this again. Control, oh my gosh. Control 1B. Ta da! So you just keep doing that um, until you get all of your data into one sheet. So here I've got all my data in one sheet. And again, well, again, whatever you name these is what it's going to call it on the graph. And so to do this, I'm going to select all of my data. So I'm just going to go here and scroll all the way down to 300 seconds. Okay, and then I'm going to go up to, if you weren't there already, go to the Insert tab, and then I'm going to go to Scatter over here, and I'm going to do with Lines. Ta-da! There's my graph. Um, you can move the legend pretty easily if you want to so you can just go to format legend and put it wherever you want that's fine um, we don't need a title because we're going to give it a nice figure caption later so we can get rid of that and we do need to add some axis labels right because these aren't um, labeled at all and so if you're clicked on the graph you should see a chart design tab here you can go to add chart element and i'm going to add an axis title do the horizontal one first, and time in seconds, and then absorbance actually doesn't have a unit, so we're just going to go to axis title vertical, and just going to call it absorbance, so you don't have to worry about it. That graph is done. And you can basically do the same thing in sheets if you wanted to work in sheets as well. Um, here I've got a sheet that has all of the data. So you can literally cut and paste the exact same way I just did in Excel. In fact, I think I made mine in sheets and downloaded it to Excel. So I'm just going to select all of my data. And it doesn't move as fast as Excel does. Okay. Well, and I'm going to go to insert, I'll go down to chart, and it's actually going to like recognize the data and do what it thinks is best, and it basically sets it up for us. We got our time, we don't need this title, get rid of that. Oops, don't want to do that. Come on, title. Get my title. And we're here to customize. I've got chart and axis title. Right now it's on chart title. I want nothing. I'm going to go down to my horizontal and get a unit on there because we need units. And I'm going to go to my vertical, ac vertical axis title and add that. Ta-da! All done. And again, um, if you want to rename these, you can do that just by 
um, giving it a new new header um, at the top of the column. And that's how to make your graphs in Excel and Sheets. Hope that helps. Send me an email if you have any questions.